Hey there everybody, this is Charles from the Gamer Infinity welcoming you to Let's Play Pokemon Red Version. Last time we delivered Oak's special parcel Pokeball that he has no use for because, you know, he doesn't catch Pokemon anymore. And now we're just gonna head around looking around Viridian. This is what the city is, Viridian, right? Those Pokeballs at your waist. Yeah, Pokemon! It's great that you could carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. It is pretty great. Yeah, it is the eternally green paradise. Or, uh, black. Yeah, black and gray. When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail of Viridian Forest. But how do you do it without Pokemon? Yeah. I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Yeah, if you come here before, he's like laying in the middle of the road and somehow takes up two sprite paths, so, yeah. But now he's up and ready to go, so he's gonna, he's gonna teach us... Well, he can teach us how to catch Pokemon. I'm not gonna go through that video, because... I assume you all know how to catch Pokemon, and if not... Huh. Maybe I wanted to talk to that guy. Don't use super fast, I can't do it in this version. Hey guy, what are you doing? This Pokemon gym's always closed. I wonder who the leader is. That can't be legal. I mean, how else will we get to the Elite Four? Eh, this guy's like, uh, oh, Pokemon are freaking great. So let's head up this way. We get a potion for our efforts for knowing where invisible stuff is. See, it's weird because you get a potion for doing that, but at the same time, you need the item finder to find it, and by the time you get the item finder, it's like, what's the point? Ooh, a Nidoran male. Or as I like to call it, an absolutely worthless Pokemon. No. Nidoran male is not that bad. It's one of the very few Pokemon that has, or it's one of the only Pokemon that has gender in first generation. It's also one of the few Pokemon that has set genders. Yeah, there's nothing over here but Nidorans and Nidorans and Sparrows and Rattatas. Wait, are there Sparrows here? I think so. This is this kind of what makes uh, Pokemon Red and Blue version pretty hard? Is because you don't have that much variety of Pokemon. Uh, depending on what you choose, like uh, in yellow version, you get Mankey there. I think you also get Mankey in this version, but like, uh, if you don't, if you don't catch or if you don't start off with a good Pokemon, the first gym can be a real pain in the ass. Like if you start off with Charmander, unless it's in you know Fire Red and Leaf Green where they change it and they make it so that Charmander learns. Metal Claw at, like, level 13, which is super effective against Rock Pokemon, and I'm rambling. Awesome. Let's see who we can catch up with. Weedle. One of the fun facts about Weedle is its evolution, Beedrill, learns the only bug attack in this game that isn't leech life. Uh, Kakuna, evolved form of Weedle, no big deal. Another Kakuna. Interesting. Not so much. Wow, no Pokemon, really? I don't need just stinking Pokemon. I don't know why, but I always find the Pokemon I'm looking for right here in the, uh, on either side of these grassy knolls. But nothing, why? I want to have. No, it's in here. I can smell it. There it is, Pikachu. Pikachu knows Thundershock, that's its only move. Oh no, I believe it knows only Growl now. Let's throw out our uh, patented Pokeball. And we caught Pikachu, surprisingly enough, because I didn't buy any Pokeballs. With several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity builds a Super Thunder Thorn. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> so let's use a... Uh, I didn't name Pikachu, I'll name him later. I'll name him later. <laughs> Forget you, Weedle. So yeah, like, if you're playing yellow version, it's really hard to beat the first gym unless you have, like, Mankey. And you learn low kick, in which case it's easy as pie. 
Which is what I did in my Pokemon Yellow version. Let's play. Let's check it out. No. Oh dear. Um. This could be bad. And we win. And we get experience points. And Sprout grows to level seven. And learns Leech Seed. Awesome. It's about to use Caterpie. No. I'm just gonna use Leech Seed. And switch over to Pikachu. And Thundershock the hell out of it. And Pikachu grew to level 4. Yay. The only problem with this game is it doesn't show which ex or which stats went up. It just shows like your stats now. So unless you're paying attention, which I never am. They have a weird Kakuna sprite. He looks almost demonic in this game. Well, you know what to do. Switch out for Sprout. Use Leech Seed. And keep hitting it with Tackle. And gradually restore your life. Don't you love the magic of emulators? Oh no, it's a jerk face. Yo, you can't jam out if you're in a or if you're a Pokemon. What does that even mean? You can't jam out? Does that mean I can't have like tunes playing while I have Pokemon battles if I don't have po I don't You don't make any sense, world. That's right. That's what I like to see in life. Paralyzation. I also like to see Pikachu hitting level 5. About to use Kakuna. I'm gonna switch out with Sprout. Ha, ah, it rhymed. And then switch back over to Pikachu. Yeah, all Kakuna knows at this level is Harden, which is stupid. Attack. Oh, it's special, or speed rose. By a lot. I think it was like 11 and went up to fucking 17. Oh, there goes my F-bomb of the day, I guess. Weedle! It's Weedle. I won't eat it. I wonder what Weedle tastes like. Like, you know how in Fallout they have those, like, rad scorpions and, like, stuff on a stick? Guan on a stick or whatever. I wonder what Weedle tastes like on a stick. No, that would just be like cannibalism or something. Ooh, Pokebells. Rouge found the potion. I forgot that I named my character Rouge. Oh lord, what was I thinking? Come on, Kakuna. Aw. Oh damn, he poisoned me. You dirty rat bastard. Well, actually, Pikachu's a rat bastard, but... Weedle comes close. <laughs> not at all. Oh, great, we're poisoned. I'm not listening to that sound, so I'll use my antidote. I hate the sound of poison. It's like the worst sound ever. No, that's not true. The sound that they make when they use the move Screech, that's the worst. That's the worst move ever. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You don't say. So let's head over to uh, Pewter City. Which I kind of just sped through at Mach 6, because little did you know, Rouge is the Flash. Hmm, you don't say. Let's check out what's in this town. Pokemon become easier to catch when they are hurt or asleep, but it's not a sure thing. Why did you tell me? Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught by the trainer. Um, I guess that's the TMs, but okay. Heal your Pokemon! Pokemon Center! There are many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a bug catcher. You walk in one step at a time. My name is Rouge. Rouge is also a Disney hero, so he sings a lot. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. I don't know about all that. 
The rock solid Pokemon trainer. That's. Wow. <laughs> Where did he come up with that name? <laughs> All your items needs fulfilled. Did you check out the museum? No. I'm. No. No. God, no. Make it stop. I don't want to see the museum. Get off the screen. Jerk. What a jerk. How dare he just push me over to the freaking museum. I didn't want to see it. I don't care about no stinking museum. Uh, why? I'm, I'm up. Heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Yes, that is what I want in life. Alright, but that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play uh, Pokemon Red Version. Join me back next time when we take on the rock-solid Pokemon trainer, Brock! This has been Millennium Jester signing out, and have a nice day.